really have something. So I did. And now all these years later, we still only make one flavor, vodka, flavored vodka. 80 proof Tito's handmade vodka, distilled and bottled in Austin, Texas. Tito's vodka.com. Matt Thomas and Steven Salas. We're in the Coach's Corner presented to you by Toyota. Let's go places. We get to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Haven't seen them in a long time. First things first, the Utah game. It, it, it was it, it, Lori Markin and obviously put together this amazing basketball game, but it wasn't like a situation where he went off on his own and you guys had no chance to pull this one out. Yeah, it was, it was you know, watching the film. So right after the game, I asked the group, the coaches, I was like, what could we have done differently on Markin and and nobody really had a good answer. So I watched the film and he was getting catch and shoots off driving kicks. It was uh, missed coverages on low man. Mm -hmm. It was uh, little floaters in the paint. It, it wasn't like, oh, well, we could have trapped him here or he was isolating so we could have double teamed him there. there. It was just one of those games where he got going and we have to do a better job on the basketball. We have to do a better job with our help. But like you said, we were right there, and there were, we had opportunities in that game. We just didn't take advantage of them. Here comes the master of the obvious statement. Your backcourt needs about a five-game stretch of just hitting everything, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, because we've had a five-game stretch of missing everything, so we definitely I didn't need, say that. <laughs> we, we need a five-game stretch of making everything. And that's the ups and downs of the NBA, and uh, creating those shots is the most important thing to me, making sure we're drawing the second defender, making the right play to, the, to our teammates. If you have an extra pass to get to the corner, make the corner pass. And uh, we did a lot of that. This morning, as far as kind of thinking about how Minnesota plays with mm -hmm. Gobert in there and thinking about, you know, the spacing that we need as far as that's concerned. But our defense leads to offense. And if we play good defense, then we can get up the floor and have energy on the offensive end. What did you think of Jay Sean getting back on the floor for you? He did a great job. He pushed the ball. He rebounded. He was in the right spots. He got, he, he uh, defended and got a charge, which he usually does. Uh, he talks to the guys in the huddles and, and gets everybody organized. Um, he looked like he was right in rhythm. He made a three. He, he played well during the game. So now it's going to be up to everybody else getting used to him being back on the floor. Yeah. But uh, he did a good job. Is that text after the day after kind of the one like, how you feeling? Are you a little nervous about when the, when the little dots show up and looking for the response? <laughs> for sure, for sure. But it was, he's feeling good. So uh, that was a concern for sure going into uh, the day after that game. But he felt good yesterday, felt good the day before and ready to go tonight. Watched a lot of that Clippers Minnesota game actually because I was bored. Uh, the Minnesota came out. I mean, I know Carl Anthony Towns has been an irritant for everybody for years, but they were gelling very well without him a couple of days ago. They definitely were. They were their defense is really good. Um, when Gobert is out there, they're hard to score against. He's going to be in his drops, and he's going to force you to shoot mid range. And if you're going to attack him, he's going to at least affect the shot if he doesn't mm -hmm. block the shot. So that game, their defense was what helped them. Pro help propel them to win that game obviously d'angelo russell and edwards and those other guys are good but when gobert is out there it just really makes it hard to score and then they run off those misses and um they're hard to guard lastly you can say this about any team but it feels like to me with this squad in particular they're role players you don't want any of them to be a star tonight I mean, you don't want say torian prince to go off yeah. or jalen noel that's and how I feel like they go without their superstars. Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, like we said, D'Angelo Russell and Edwards are our main guys, but they do have the Jaden McDaniels of the world mm -hmm. who's shooting the ball extremely well this season. And then Nas Reed, who's picking and popping and making shots. And uh, Austin Rivers, who, uh, a former Rocket, changed the shot this season and shooting, shooting the ball mm -hmm. a lot better. So, yeah, it's, it's the role players, but um, for us... We really got to make sure that we're moving the ball and spacing well so Gobert isn't just standing in the paint forcing us to take tough shots. All right, that is Coach Steven Saddles. We've got the Rockets and the Wolves coming up shortly as you listen to Houston Rockets basketball. No matter which road you take, the Toyota Tundra is the perfect way to navigate it. You may find yourself in some pretty remote places. That view is amazing. Or in places where pastimes become stories that become legends. I got one. It's a keeper. And each day ends watching a star-filled sky. Whoa. 
built to follow your path, the Toyota Tundra. Visit your local Toyota dealer or toyota.com for your ready-for-anything Toyota Tundra. Toyota. Let's go places. See packages and options at toyota.com for feature availability. When it comes to your money goals, every win matters. And with an MVP like Credit Karma on your side, your hard work can really pay off. Whether you're looking to elevate your credit scores, upgrade your car or home, or find the right strategy to pay off debt, Credit Karma is on your team. Join over 120 million members and start leveling up your finances. Download the free app and create your own karma with Credit Karma. Proud partner of the Houston Rockets. Loan services offered through Credit Karma Offers, Inc., NMLS ID 1628077. Credit Karma Mortgage, Inc., NMLS ID 1588622. Memorial Hermann and the Houston Rockets are proud to bring Houston an exclusive, first-of-its-kind, co-branded partnership. This is the first time a health system and a national sports organization have ever come together to advance orthopedics. From broken bones to joint replacement, the specialists at Memorial Hermann Rockets Orthopedics bring you innovative capabilities for a broad range of medical needs. You can get the same level of unparalleled care as elite athletes. Memorial Hermann Rockets Orthopedics. For more information, visit memorialherman.org forward slash ortho dash rockets. The Houston Rockets are looking to bring a championship back to Texas. AT&T Sportsnet has all the exclusive coverage you need. From pregame to postgame, watch every game, every shot, only on AT&T Sportsnet. Visit at and Sportsnet.com and click on the channel finder to see how you can watch Rockets basketball all season long. AT&T Sportsnet, the TV home of the Houston Rockets. Available on DirecTV, Uverse, and Xfinity. Rock Scout Town brought to you by Corona continues here from Toyota Center. Let's take a peek at tonight's NBA scoreboard. Boatload of games already underway. A couple of gone final, including the game in Detroit, where the Pistons fell to the Sixers, 123 to 111. 26 points for Killian Hayes led the way for the Pistons, who dropped to 11 and 32 on the season. Triple double time for James Hart, 20 points, 11 boards, and 11 assists. Tyrese Maxey with 23 points as well for the Sixers, who played without Joel Embiid, but got the 12 point victory. A final from Toronto, also a 12 point game. Raptors win over Portland by 12, 117 to 105. Pascal Siakam led his team with 27 points. Damian Lillard led the way for the Blazers. 34 points in 41 minutes. Blazers drop a game under 500. Raptors pull within six games of 500. The Hornets and Pacers still going from Indiana, and they are into the fourth quarter. Just one possession in with 11:46 still to go. The Hornets have a nine-point lead, 82 to 73 in that game. All 10 starters in double figures. Nobody else. Nets have a four-point lead over the Heat in Miami right now with five minutes until halftime. It's 53 to 49. Kyrie Irving with 17 first half points already. The Jazz off of their win here in Houston, now in Memphis, and are down by four with 4.45 to go until they hit the half. Desmond Bain with 14 points for the Grizz, leading all scores. The other games tonight, Oklahoma City hosting the Mavericks. That'll tip off as we do here in just a few minutes. And then a little bit later, the Phoenix Suns host the Cleveland Cavaliers. And the L.A. Clippers are hosting the Utah Jazz. Budweiser celebrates those who plan ahead for safe rides. Enjoy responsibly. Drink Wiser from your friends at Silver Eagle Distributors. Houston, when we come back, we'll rewind back through the game against the Utah Jazz and bring you all of tonight's play-by-play action. This is Rockets Countdown brought to you by Corona. Memorial Hermann and the Houston Rockets are proud to bring Houston an exclusive, first-of-its-kind, co-branded partnership. This is the first time a health system and a national sports organization have ever come together to advance orthopedics. From broken bones to joint replacement, the specialists at Memorial Hermann Rockets Orthopedics bring you innovative capabilities for a broad range of medical needs. You can get the same level of unparalleled care as elite athletes. Memorial Hermann Rockets Orthopedics. For more information, visit memorialherman.org forward slash ortho dash rockets. With a Kroger Plus card, it's easy to get lower than low prices for the win. And for every dollar you spend, you earn fuel points, which can add up to $1 per gallon off at the pump for the win. Plus, save every day on groceries and get personalized digital coupons for the win. The Kroger Plus card. All you do is win. Big, big savings. Sign up now at Kroger.com and start saving. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Fuel restrictions apply. 
What does it mean to be the energy behind Clutch City? At Reliant, it means powering the home of the Houston Rockets and the homes of Rockets fans across our hometown. Reliant is harnessing the energy on the court to power game day. Together, we make a powerful team. Reliant, proud to be the official energy provider of the Houston Rockets. To learn more, visit Reliant.com or call 1-866-RELIANT, PUCT number 10007. Whether on land, at sea, in the air, or in space, KBR delivers science, technology, and engineering solutions that are changing the world. For more than a century, governments and companies across the globe have come to us to accomplish their most critical missions and objectives. From space exploration and national defense to green technology and the circular economy, our experts are tackling the most important challenges of our time and delivering innovative solutions without equal. In everything we do, we're striving to create a better, safer, and more sustainable world. We are KBR. The future designed and delivered learn more at kbr.com budweiser celebrates the the houston rockets hit the court tonight trying to bounce back from a loss to the jazz that seemed headed in a much better direction early. Kicks it out right baseline, wide open, setting, firing, and hitting is Eric Gordon for a three ball. Now the Rockets have retaken the lead at 9-7. Jay Sean left side of the lane to the window, and he's got himself a basket. Nicely done for Jay Sean. Good to have him back on the floor. Martin across the timeline at the left elbow. Hands it off left side. Porter for three. That's up and in. Great pointer for Scoot. That's his second. He's got eight in the quarter. The game stayed tight through two quarters with Alper and Shingoon leading the way. Lob it out right to EG. Into Shingoon. Going against the Linux. Spins around him and throws it up underhand style for two. Nicely done. Screen set by Shingoon. Double team comes. Alper has got the basketball. Out left side. EG. for three. Tate left elbow behind a wide open. Janet Green, please hit this. Oh, back guy miss. Tap up is in for Alper and Shangoon, and he is fouled. The rebound to Alper and Shangoon. He'll bring it across the timeline with a right-hand dribble. Met there by Conley. Going to post up. Somebody's open. Cross court out to Jalen. He'll launch a three. That's a front rim miss. Tap up is there. Alper and Shangoon with another rebound and another basket. Give him now 12 for the game. More of the same in the third quarter when the Rockets' long-range shots started to fall. Nicely saved on that sideline. Right side to Porter, to his right for Green. Catch, shoot three, nails it. It's a two-possession game now. Green out left side, Jabari. Catch, shoot three, nails it. Good from takeoff. Green right side of the floor. It's an 8 nothing Utah run here. Scoot left corner for three. Up and in. Rattles home the triple. A reverse lamp is blocked by Shen Goon. And I mean, check that. Left side of the floor. Here goes Green. Up and under to Shangoon. Puff fakes. Throws it off the window and scores. Alpi on both ends of the floor. Shangoon has an offensive rebound on the left elbow. Or excuse me, the left baseline. He'll post up. He's going to puff fake. Go up and jam it down. Right in front of Walker Kessler. Out the way, rookie. Kicks it out left side. Martin, he's open from three. That is on the way. And that's good. That's a one possession game off the triple from Kenyon. 82 80 with 315 remaining. Kicks it out right side. Jay Sean for three. It is up. It's good. And the Rockets have the lead on a JT triple. Jay Sean with nine. 86 85 Rockets. But the Jazz hit the Rockets with a 10 zip run to close out the third quarter. So the Rockets tried to climb that hill one more time. Out left side. Green open three. Nails it. Green with his third triple. 19. It leads all Rocket scores. Down the lane goes Green and with a thunder. Right hand hammer. As he split through not one, not two, but three Utah defenders. Scoot's going to try a left corner three and rattles it home. That should make the deal feel better. 110 to 104, back to a two possession game. They would not get any closer, falling to the Jazz by 17. So tonight, it's the Rockets and the Timberwolves. And all the action is next. <laughs> Hey, it's 
is Coach Silas. Here come, here come the Rockets. This is Jabari Smith. Reverse layup and one. This is Alperen Shanghai. Beautiful move. Jay Sean Tate. Eric Gordon here. Splash. This is Walmart. This is Kevin Porter Jr. And Alperudo. Hey, it's Jalen Green. Unbelievable. Rockets Radio. Houston Rockets basketball is presented by Toyota. Let's go places. And by AT&T 5G, the fast, reliable, and secure 5G network. Rockets Radio. Rockets Radio. Rockets Radio. Red Nation. Get ready for liftoff. Liftoff. And the crowd is on their feet. We are going to launch. Here come the Rockets. Rockets. Now, the voices of your Houston Rockets. Matt Thomas and Adam Wexler. Teams are on the court. We're just about set for action. But first, we'll pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Rockets radio network. KBB Houston and iHeart Radio Station. This is Sports Talk 790, your home for Houston Rockets basketball. Rockets and Wolves here from Toyota Center this Sunday evening as we bring in the voice of Houston Rockets basketball, Matt Thomas. The Rockets quite clearly would like to see a couple of streaks come to an end. Their overall losing streak and an even longer losing streak here at Toyota Center. Yeah, six in a row overall. They have lost eight in a row in this building, and they're taking on maybe perhaps the most schizophrenic team in the NBA. Let me explain. Can three. I get on the ride when it goes up and then when it comes down? That's and then when really it goes up, up to you. When it goes down? Wolves have won three in a row. Before that, they lost six in a row. Before that, they won three in a row. Before that, they lost three in a row. Yeah, I hope you guys have a good, solid, stable stomachs as you ride this roller coaster with this Wolves team. A game under 500 with Carl Anthony Towns. They're a game under 500 without Carl Anthony Towns and almost the same number of games. Time for the Toyota Keys to the game presented to you by Toyota. Let's go places. Real quickly, it's got to be Rudy Gobert. He has picked up a lot of the scoring load now that Carl Anthony Towns is out. He had 25 points and 21 rebounds. His second 2020 game of the season and their most recent game against the L.A. Clippers. And it, with that means, hopefully, Alperin Shangun stays out of foul trouble. Certainly would like to see that, as would his Rockets teammates and coaches and fans in the building here tonight. We've got the action for you next. This is Rockets Countdown, brought to you by Corona. Rockets fans, customize your Houston Rockets experience this season with the all-new Rockets Flex Plan. Packages start at five games for just $55. You pick the seats, you pick your games. The more games you pick, the more rewards you unlock, including team shop savings, food and beverage credits, and exclusive membership events. It's time to flex your fandom with a Rockets Flex Plan. Purchase today at Rockets.com. The Houston Rockets are looking to bring a championship back to Texas. AT&T Sportsnet has all the exclusive coverage you need. From pre-game to post-game, watch every game, every shot, only on AT&T Sportsnet. Visit at and Sportsnet.com and click on the channel finder to see how you can watch Rockets basketball all season long. AT&T Sportsnet, the TV home of the Houston Rockets. Available on DirecTV, Uverse, and Xfinity. When it comes to your money goals, every win matters. And with an MVP like Credit Karma on your side, your hard work can really pay off. Whether you're looking to elevate your credit scores, upgrade your car or home, or find the right strategy to pay off debt, Credit Karma is on your team. Join over 120 million members and start leveling up your finances. Download the free app and create your own karma with Credit Karma. Proud partner of the Houston Rockets. Loan services offered through Credit Karma Offers, Inc. NMLS ID 1628077. Credit Karma Mortgage, Inc. NMLS ID 1588622. Do you love vodka or gin? Then I have something new and exceptional to tell you about. Gentle Bend Spirits. Hi, it's Jeremy Branham. Gentle Bend Vodka and Gin are truly different. Gentle Bend uses Perseido's state-of-the-art craft technology to purify and enhance the taste of their vodka and gin. Gentle Bend Spirits are made right here in Texas. Try Gentle Bend Vodka or Gin in your next cocktail. You'll taste the smooth difference just like I did. You can find Gentle Bend Vodka or Gin at Total Wine or Specs. If they don't carry it, ask them to. GentleBend.com. Gentle Bend, the union of tradition and invention. This copyrighted broadcast of the National Basketball Association may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed or used in any form without the express written consent of the NBA. Thanks for listening.
Thanks for listening. The big forward is Kyle Anderson, the former Spur, now Wolf, is in season number 10 out of UCLA. And the center is Rudy Gobert at 7-1 out of France in his 11th season, the former uh, Utah Jazz man. So again for the Wolves, it is Russell, Edwards, McDaniels, Anderson, and Gobert. For head coach Chris Finch, was once a coach of the RGB Vipers, also an assistant here in Houston, 81-82 and 82 in his third year as the head coach in Minnesota. For your Rockets, who come in with a record of 10 wins and 29 losses, 6-13 and 13 in this building. Their guard line will feature a pair of 6-6 six, six players. One is Kevin Porter in season number four out of USC. The other one is out of Fresno, California. It's Jalen Green in his second NBA campaign. The small forward in season number 15 out of Indiana is 6'4", Eric Gordon. The power forward is Jabari Smith. He's 6'11". He is a rookie out of Auburn. And the center is Alperin Shangun, also 6'11", in his second season from Turkey. So again, for the Rockets, it'll be Porter, Green, Smith, Gordon, and Shangun for head coach Steven Salas. 47 wins, 146 losses. As we mentioned with Wax just a couple of minutes ago, both teams coming in in streaks. Wolves have won three in a row here in the starting off the 2023 season. They have lost, however, four consecutive road games. Rockets have dropped six in a row overall and eight in a row in this beautiful building. Our officials tonight, as assigned by the National Basketball Association, our crew chief is Bill Kennedy. He will give us the longest explanation on challenges you'll find in the NBA. And for broadcasters, we appreciate that. He'll be assisted by J.B. DeRosa and Inte Wang. Wayne, DeRosa, and Kennedy are your officials. Our Memorial Hermit Injury Report is brought to you by Memorial Hermit, advancing health, personalizing care for the Rockets, Scott Free. For the Wolves, we mentioned Edwards. He's going to play despite left hip soreness. We've got Bryn Forbes, who is going to play despite right shoulder soreness. Back spasms for Nas Reed. He is still going to go. The only player unavailable tonight for the Wolves of Matter. Actually, there's two of them. Jordan McLaughlin, their backup point guard, is out with a left calf strain. And Carl Anthony Towns, their big man, their 20-plus point scorer out of Kentucky, is out with a right calf strain. I was told about another three, three weeks before Cat uh, appears to be returning to the Wolves' lineup. Memorial Hermann advancing health and personalizing care. Rockets coming off that loss to Utah, 131-114. to 114. Jazz by, led by as much as 22. Rockets shot 41% for the game and 15-42 from three. The Jazz were 50% from the field of 19-48 from distance. Rockets turned it over 15 times. It turned into 21 Utah points. There were just five lead changes in the game and two ties. Lori Market and Adam Wexler with a career high 49 points. And we're seeing a trend from the stars that are coming in this building or the, the Rockets are playing. They're also getting the free throw on a bunch where Lori was 13 of 13. Yeah, 13 of 13 for him. That certainly was problematic. Saw it a couple of times recently with Luka Doncic. It's an 18 of 22 game among them. That came earlier this month. And so it is something to watch for the Rockets, obviously for how often they're at the line, but also in that Shabari Smith Jr. in this last game, and on occasion, obviously, Alfred and Shingun have been in foul trouble, and their depth up front has been tested greatly. Wolves beat the Clippers on Friday, 128-115. T-Wolves had a lead as much as 25. There was just one time, no lead changes. Wolves shot 57% from the floor and 13 to 35. Frankly, you would think the Wolves would always shoot 57%. When Rudy Gobert's taken as many shots as he did had, he was 11 of 15. He comes in at 68% from the floor, waxing at his second best in the NBA. It's pretty much where he's been for the majority of his career. Uh, was obviously there with Utah here. That's probably the most notable statistical area team-wide. You see the difference in Gobert. They're better defensively, but probably not as good as they thought they might become, and maybe that'll change when they're full again. But as a shooting team, they're one of the best shooting teams in the NBA. He gets a lot of high-percentage shots. He helps his teammates get a lot of high-percentage shots. They shoot almost 50%. Yeah, to back things up, that 49% clip for the Wolves is third best in the association. These two teams also like to turn the ball over. Minnesota averages 16 per game. That's 27th in the association. Rockets have been dead last most of the year. 
by turning the ball over 17 times. Wolves in their dark blue uniforms with green and white trim. Rockets in the red uniforms tonight with black trim and white lettering across the front. And we are ready for basketball tonight as Alperin Shangoon and Rudy Gobert at the jump circle. Tap is on a two or three times, and it tips back to the Wolves. No run from right to left as we see things here in the first quarter of play. McDaniels hands it off, and he's got it to Kyle Anderson. Kyle Anderson left elbow. Lob feeding to Rudy Gobert. One shot, one make, one alley-oop. So Rudy Gobert, again, coming in at 68%. He'll improve on that with the dunk. 2-0, first possession for Houston, left to right. Four court right, it's Kevin Porter, Jr. The ball tapped and into the hands of Eric Gordon. Gets a screen from Alper and Shagun. Bounce pass to Alpi to the lane he goes. Turns left, spins right, jump hook and five around the rim and down. And both teams make their first shot. A quick enough move by Shangoon that Gobert couldn't get off of his feet to block it because he was backing up. Shangoon averaging 14 and a half points per game. McDaniels on a bounce pass. Anderson giving it back to McDaniels at the right elbow. Behind Rick Kyle Anderson straight away. Arcing three, missing it off the front rim. Picked up by Green. Kyle Anderson has a pronounced look to his jump shots. It's not mechanically very sound, but he does make quite a few. Inside the paint, it's Alperin Shingun out left side. Here is Jalen Green out right corner. Three-point try for KPJ. Rattles home, and the Rockets have a 5-2 advantage. Left side of the floor with the basketball, D'Angelo Russell. Russell goes left to right now, straight away, now back left around the arc. Pulls up inside the lane, bad pass, looking that time for Anderson, and it's picked up by Jabari. He's going to jam it down with the right hand. Rockets wanted a, a foul called, a transition take. They'll take the two points instead, and Houston leads 7-2, to two, and the Rockets have scored seven straight. Right side of the floor, McDaniels to Gobert, and the ball deflected out of bounds. That's a Minnesota turnover. Kyle Anderson also involved in that as well. Again, this is a Wolves team that turns it over just as much as the Rockets do. And about 16 per contest. Right side of the floor. On the baseline, it's Kevin Porter Jr. Porter Jr. inside the arc. Comes back out. Crossover dribble. To the paint he goes. Floats up a shot. It comes up short. Rebound picked up by Gobert. And he will push. As a matter of fact, he's coming across the timeline. He wants to go to the paint. A 360 move, and it goes up, and it's blocked. And Shankun gets called for a foul. I'm more stunned that Rudy Gobert went 80 feet. He went about 75 feet and then put a spin move on Jabari Smith, which got himself open in the lane, or so he thought. Channeling the play was Alperin Shingun. He goes up high and gets a lot of leather, but he didn't hit him across the backside as well. Body contact, and Gobert's at the line. So the foul is on, again, Alperin. That's his first. First foul against the Rockets, 9.58 remaining. Gobert at the line, 67%. He leans into it, makes the free throw to end that 7 0 rocket run. Wolves come in 18th in the association at 78% as a collective group at the line. Gobert averaging 14 points a game. He's a second best rebounder at 11.9 per contest. He's also has 47 blocks to his credit. 7 4, the rocket advantage. Jalen to Jabari and then back to Jalen between the circles. Screen set by Shangun at the right elbow. Pulls up, contested two, coming up right side, missed it. Offensive rebound of Jabari, and he's going to jam it down with two hands. Rockets continue to be one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the association. They lead nine to four. Anderson to the lane, got uncontested. He goes up and he goes and scores the right hand. Nobody picked up the basketball. Second time they've done that already. The Rockets' defense a little confused. 9-6, a Rocket lead with 9-20 remaining. Bounce pass, Shingun left of the paint. He's going to body up against Gobert. Jump hook from eight feet. Got it. And another basket for Alper and Shingun, who continues to pour on the points. 14 and a half again. He's got four in the early going. 11-6, Rockets up by five. Here is Anthony Edwards, out right corner. D'Angelo Russell for a three ball. That is up and in. D'Angelo Russell shoots just 35% from three, but that one drops the rocket advantage to 11 to 9. Green on a crossover to the paint, reverse layup, glass only. Rebound picked up by Gobert. In front court, here comes Russell, left side of the floor, going to try for back to back threes. Hits up, and that's two for two for D'Angelo Russell. Pretty hot tonight for both teams. Rockets have made five of eight. The Wolves have made four of five to retake the lead. Clippers, again, against the Clippers, he only had one three pointer. He's got two so far. Out be 14 footer, and that's a sweet spot. Boy, he is owning that paint area there in that mid range. 
Like, very unafraid of the fact that Gobert is his defender. That's great to see. Six points for Shingun. Rockets 13, the Wolves 12. Left side, it's Anthony Edwards. Right-hand dribble to the top of the arc, looking for Nally. Oop, he throws it behind Gobert. Had to gather and then lost it. Now, Prince Shingun comes up with a loose basketball. Alpi right side of the floor. One-on-one -on -one against Gobert. To the window. Turns left, spins right, and throws it right in the hands of Kyle Anderson. Anderson, left elbow on the trail to Gobert. No look pass, and it goes right off the hands of Jaden McDaniels. Just didn't gather it properly. It was a decent enough pass, and that's a Minnesota turnover, and that is already their third. 7.25 remaining in the first quarter of play, a 15 to 12 rocket advantage. Right side, it's Alperin Shangoon. Hands it off to uh, Jalen Green. Green, right elbow. Takes a couple steps back, hands it back to Shangoon. Bounce pass. Look, oh, didn't give it to him. Instead, he gets it to Jabari at the top of the key. Out right side to Shangoon. Back to Smith. The contested two comes up right side from 18. It's missed. And the rebound picked up by the Wolves. Jay McDaniels across the timeline. Hands it off to Anthony Edwards. Edwards at the top of the key. Out left side D'Angelo Russell. Step back. 26-footer on the way. Comes off the front rim. And the rebound secured that time by Jalen Green. Jalen's got it inside to scoot at the left elbow. 101 against D'Angelo Russell. He'll go out left side of the floor, then dribbles, turns right, spins left on the trail to Shingu. No look past the scoot. Straight away, here's a green three pointer. Hits glass only. My goodness. Rebound to Anderson. It's thrown at midcourt and taken away by Jalen. Jalen down the heart of the lane. No look pass. Baseline three for Porter. Up and in. Rockets take advantage of a Minnesota mistake, and their lead grows to six. 18 to 12 with 619 remaining. Seven. Oh, run. That's a second 7 0 run for the Rockets here in this first quarter of play. D'Angelo out right side. Edwards back out to Russell. Pump fakes and gets called for a travel sales bill, Kennedy. And with that, we got ourselves a timeout. Houston Rockets 2 of 3 from 3. More importantly, 8 of 13 overall from the floor and 5 Minnesota turnovers. Part of a Houston 18 to 12 lead over Minnesota. 6.07 remaining in first quarter competition. Timeout brought to you by Corona Extra. Invite you to find your beach. And now these words from your local station. Attention business owners. Imagine getting up to $26,000 per employee sent to you directly by the U.S. government. All businesses during COVID could be eligible for a payroll tax refund of up to $26K per employee through a CARES Act program. The fact is, all types of businesses, profit or today ertc.com is the nation's leading company specializing in employee retention tax credits here is a real testimonial from an ertc client we've got some good news you're going to get four hundred and eighty-eight thousand dollars as a tax refund which is not a loan and you can use that in whatever way you'd like to visit ertc.com today and in less than five minutes our proprietary rebate calculator will show you how much money you could receive Act now before the program closes or funds run out. Visit ERTC.com today. That's ERTC.com. No matter which road you take, the Toyota Tundra is the perfect way to navigate it. You may find yourself in some pretty remote places. That view is amazing. Or in places where pastimes become stories that become legends. I got one. It's a keeper. And each day ends watching a star-filled sky. Whoa. Built to follow your path, the Toyota Tundra. Visit your local Toyota dealer or toyota.com for your ready-for-anything Toyota Tundra. Toyota. Let's go places. See packages and options at toyota.com for feature availability. When I'm looking to get in on some action, DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the Houston Rockets, is always giving me a shot to win big with their daily fantasy contest. Download the DraftKings app now and use promo code ROCKETS. This week, new customers can get a free shot at a share of millions in total prizes with your first deposit. Only at DraftKings with code ROCKETS. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply. Void where prohibited. See DraftKings.com for details. 
Join us for Alper and Shingoon's first ever bobblehead night on January 25th. And we'll rock its tick on the Wizards starting just $29. You'll receive tickets to the game, a beverage, and a guaranteed Alper and Shingoon. I'm so happy. Talking bobblehead presented by Whataburger. Guarantee yourself a bobblehead by purchasing your tickets tonight at Rockets.com. Inventory is limited. Rockets and Wolves, 6.07 still to go here in the first quarter. Thanks to the second 7-0 run by the Rockets, they've got a six-point lead. Red hot shooting for both clubs, but the turnover count for Minnesota. You said before the game, both teams like to turn the ball over. I guess the Timberwolves really do like to do it because they're not being forced to. Yeah, five of them so far. Porter, right elbow. It's turned back by Edwards. Straight away to EG. A floater from 14 is up. Front rim miss. And I think Gobert almost tapped it in. He grabs the rebound off that second miss. And a rebound picked up by Edwards. Edwards across the timeline. Gets double screen from Gobert. The left elbow in the paint. Out left side. Jaden McDaniels for three balls. Side rim missed it poorly. And the rebound picked up by Scoot. Scoot looking left-hand side of the floor for Jabbar. The window lays it up and in. And Daniels trying to go for the block. Got there late. Rockets up by eight, shooting 60% from the field. It's great recognition by KPJ. Bad angle by Anderson, so Smith was able to beat him to the basket. Nine straight for the Rockets. Go Bear behind to McDaniel. Excuse me, to Russell. Russell being chased by Gordon. Right elbow pulls up. 14-footer. Missed it off the back heel. Rebound picked up by Scoot. He'll come across the right side of the floor and bring it to front court for Houston. Straight away to Shangoon. Picked up his dribble. Lobs it back to Porter. Chased by Anderson. Between the legs he goes. Shot clock at nine. Here goes Green to the baseline right. Shangoon a 10-footer. Got it. Boy, he is about automatic these days from inside 13 feet. He's got eight. And the Rockets' lead is 22-12. to 12. It'll Last field goal for Minnesota coming at 8.42 in the first quarter. Here's Kyle Anderson between the rings. He's got it left side angle. Behind him, ball tipped. Russell saves it. Bounce pass through behind Anderson. Another turnover. That's six. Yeah, Eric Gordon was able to get a hand on that pass from Kyle Anderson. All Eric Gordon did was stick his hands up. He never saw the basketball, but knew it was trying to be lofted over his head. And that set in motion turnover number six. Rockets have it back, and they've scored the last 11. Nas Reed has come in for the Wolves in his fifth year out of LSU. It's been a thorn in the Rockets' side as of late. Always a guy that contributes double digits off the bench. He had 11 against the Rockets the first time around. We have not gone over the season series yet. It's just one. And there is Smith turning the ball over in front of Daniels. Down the lane goes Reed as I spoke of him. Left side to the layup, and he puts it in for two. And he an impact for now is Reed. Averaging 10.6 off the bench for Minnesota. Houston turnover turns into a Minnesota basket, 22-14. to 14. Houston up by eight, 402 remaining in the first. Right beyond the midcourt, it's Jalen Green. Down the lane he goes. Reverse lay of the left hand off the front rim. The tap up by Shangun is no good. We have a loose ball foul. And it'll be a call, I think, on Nas Reed as he pushed aside Alper and Shingun. Yeah, Shingun had inside position, was able to get the initial tip, and when he went back up to get another, a Nas Reed came down hard over his back. And Shingun keeps the possession over here for the Rockets as he takes a seat. Usman Garuba in for the Rockets. Austin Rivers, the former Rocket for Minnesota. Mentioned Minnesota and the Rockets won previous game this year, 129-117. That was in Minneapolis in early November. Left side at the elbow, a shot attempt coming up for KPJ. It hits it to make it now 24-14. Second time the Rockets have a 10-point lead in the first quarter. Anthony Edwards across the timeline. Anthony plays 37 minutes a game. Out left corner for a three ball. No good off of the hands of Jalen Noel, who's returned for the for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Lob inside for Garuba. Excuse me, for uh, Jay Sean Tate. Pass out left side to Porter. He saves it before he goes to the sideline. Here's Scoot, top of the key, at the free throw line. Gets by Noel. Kicks it out left side for Jay Sean. He'll nail a three-pointer. Jay Sean is now four of eight from three-point distance, and this is fifth game of the season. Rockets up by 13 to 27 to 14, and Minnesota needs to call a timeout. It is a 16 to two run for your Rockets, and with 3:07 remaining in the first, all Houston so far. Rockets 27, Wolves 14. Timeout brought to you by Corona Extra. Invite you to find your beach. 
This is Houston Rockets basketball. Memorial Hermann and the Houston Rockets are proud to bring Houston an exclusive first-of-its-kind co-branded partnership. This is the first time a health system and a national sports organization have ever come together to advance orthopedics. From broken bones to joint replacement, the specialists at Memorial Hermann Rockets Orthopedics bring you innovative capabilities for a broad range of medical needs. You can get the same level of unparalleled care as elite athletes. Memorial Hermann Rockets Orthopedics. For more information, visit memorialherman.org forward slash ortho dash rockets no matter which road you take the toyota tundra is the perfect way to navigate it you may find yourself in some pretty remote places that view is amazing or in places where pastimes become stories that become legends i got one it's a keeper and each day ends watching a star-filled sky whoa built to follow your path the toyota tundra visit your local toyota dealer or toyota.com for your ready for anything toyota tundra toyota let's go places see packages and options at toyota.com for feature availability with a kroger plus card it's easy to get lower than low prices for the win and for every dollar you spend you earn fuel points which can add up to one dollar per gallon off of the pump for the win Plus, save every day on groceries and get personalized digital coupons for the win. win. The Kroger Plus Card. All you do is win. Big, big savings. Sign up now at Kroger.com and start saving. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Savings may vary by state. Fuel restrictions apply. The sound of an ice cold Corona is music to my ears. Oh, run that back. Dope. Now drop that beat. And hit me with the hook, player. Hey, whatever you do with your fine life, just do you, player. Relax responsibly. Corona Extra Beer, imported by Crown Imports, Chicago, Illinois. Sign up your kid for the Rockets Kids Club, a great way for your kid to see the Rockets play this season at Toyota Center. For just $50, your child will... Receive two tickets to an upcoming Rockets home game, Rockets backpack, a hat, socks, a dry fit t-shirt, access to exclusive member events, and more. Sign up for the Rockets Kids Club tonight at Rockets.com. A 27-14 advantage already for the Rockets. Still 307 remaining here in this first quarter. The Rockets have hit 60 percent of their shots 10 makes already for smith shangoon and porter jr on their 14 attempts 16 to 2 run over the last five and a half minutes for your rockets anthony edwards left side angle against alperin shangoon is going to draw up a three-pointer and hit it anthony edwards at 36 percent from three averaging almost 24 a game that basket gives him his first of the game at 27 to 17. jay sean tate right to left around the arc it's held up by edwards back behind him to Porter, throws a pass out to Garuba, has got to chase it down the right baseline. Back to his left for Scoot, shot clock at five, Scoot to the top of the key. With four, with three, out to Tate left corner, contested three, goes off, hits class only, and that'll be a 24 second shot clock violation. That'll be the Rockets' third turnover. That pick and roll with KPJ and Tari Eason. Eason popped out to the three point line, had the lane to the basket. KPJ was looking for the roll. That's why the possession kind of stalled out there and you ended up with that desperation three from Tate. Edwards across midcourt with the Rockets up by 10. The screen is set by Torian Prince. Prince out right side, thought about the three, guarded by a face guard by Garuba. Back out to Edwards right side. Left-hand dribble out to Prince, left corner. Right-hand dribble against Tate. Kicks it back out to Edwards. Three ball on the way. Good. And that's back-to-back AC. Or AC. Adam Wexler for Anthony Edwards. Adam Klein would have appreciated it as yeah, well. Yeah, I think the last time out, the uh, Wolves bench noticed he had not taken a shot yet. Yep. 2-4-2 two, two in the last minute here. Here's uh, Kenyon Martin Jr. behind him. Out right to uh, Kevin Porter Jr. to the paint against Austin Rivers. Pulls up a 14-footer. He hits and he's fouled by Austin. Three-point opportunity here for Scoot. Did you wish uh, K.J. Martin a happy 22nd birthday? 22nd birthday. And as he's, he's noted a couple times, on this team, he's old. That's ridiculous. But true. Yes. What is he? Maybe the third or fourth oldest player? <laughs> Boban, be... Eric Garrison on the on the Well, the Boban, other end. too, yeah. Maybe the fourth. Edwards, cross court, right hand side of the Noel to the baseline. Shot attempt coming up for Torian Prince is missed. Tapped by Reed into the hands of Jay Sean Tate. Jay Sean lob from midcourt, and he finds the birthday boy for a slam. 
Beautiful midcourt pass and the two-hand finish. 122 remaining, and the Rockets are back up by 11 at 31 to 20. Edwards straight away, top of the key, free throw line. Paint goes up, stripped by Garuba. Last touch by Usman, out of bounds to Minnesota. Shot clock will show 11 as Eric Gordon set the return here for the Rockets. So EG will go in, and Kevin Porter Jr. will get his first rest. Minnesota will inbound the basket to the left. Noel, left four baseline, rolled extra foot. Anyway, it's got a traveling violation called, said J.B. DeRosa. Seven makes, seven turnovers for the Timberwolves here in the first roughly 11 minutes of this game. Rockets have already made 14 shots against just three turnovers. Wax, when these two teams met in Minneapolis, they combined for 47 turnovers. Straight away, E.G. Right-hand dribble to the paint. Goes off the window and lays it in for two. Rockets matching their largest lead of 13. All the starters have scored for the Rockets. 33-20 with 54 seconds remaining. Nasri with the basketball at the top of the arc. Out right side. With the basketball, it is Jalen Noel. Up baseline right of Torian Prince. Miss again. Offensive rebound to Reed. Pump fakes two times and finally scores. Nas Reed averaging 10.6 off the bench here for the Wolves. Here's Garuba left elbow, left side to Jay Sean Tate. Goes a cross court pass out to Martin. He'll launch a three ball. It's off the back heel. Offensive rebound to Garuba. Back out to EG. Shot clock at 10. Left side for Jay Sean. He misses on a front iron three. And Jalen Noel, the rebound for Minnesota. 17 seconds left to go in the quarter. Wolves will play for the final shot. Edwards has K.J. Martin in front of him by about seven feet. Right side angle at the 27-foot line. Inside the arc. Now Tep takes a step back. Long two. That's up and in the end of the quarter by Anthony Edwards. And what is surprising is that right foot was clearly on the line. So it'll be an eight-point quarter for Anthony Edwards. It should have been nine if he'd have had his feet in the right spot, but that's a good spot for the Rockets to be in as their lead after one is nine points. Houston 33, Minnesota 24. Second quarter action is next as you listen to Houston Rockets basketball. What does it mean to be the energy behind Clutch City? At Reliant, it means powering the home of the Houston Rockets and the homes of Rockets fans across our hometown. Reliant is harnessing the energy on the court to power our game day. Together we make a powerful team. Reliant, proud to be the official energy provider of the Houston Rockets. To learn more, visit Reliant.com or call 1-866-RELIANT. PUCT number 10007. When it comes to your money goals, every win matters. And with an MVP like Credit Karma on your side, or find the right strategy to pay off debt, Credit Karma is on your team. Join over 120 million members and start leveling up your finances. Download the free app and create your own karma with Credit Karma, proud partner of the Houston Rockets. Loan services offered through Credit Karma offers Inc. NMLS ID 1628077. Credit Karma Mortgage Inc. NMLS ID 1588622. No matter which road you take, the Toyota Tundra is the perfect way to navigate it. You may find yourself in some pretty remote places. That view is amazing. Or in places where pastimes become stories that become legends. I got one. It's a keeper. And each day ends watching a star-filled sky. Whoa. Built to follow your path, the Toyota Tundra. Visit your local Toyota dealer or toyota.com for your ready-for-anything Toyota Tundra. Toyota. Let's go places. See packages and options at toyota.com for feature availability. I'm Wexler here. Time for the Memorial Herman Health Tip brought to you by Memorial Herman Advancing Health personalizing care when you need to see your doctor but you don't have time to go schedule a virtual office visit with memorial Herman medical group you can see your doctor through a scheduled video visit during regular office hours call your memorial Herman medical group office to schedule your virtual office visit with your provider visit memorialherman.org slash virtual care to find out more memorial Herman advancing health and personalizing care strong first quarter for the rockets hitting 58% of their shots, taking a nine-point advantage in this game. KPJ, 10 points, three assists, three boards, running the show for Houston very well. Rockets also at 18 points in the paint, 33-24, as Gordon brings it in front court to Jalen Green. Lobs to Shingun and returns, bounce pass inside, and going up for a slam dunk was K.J. Martin, but he was fouled by Torian Prince. 
And we'll get free throws here for KJ. At 22 years of age, I had two roommates, and I was also just becoming my PA announcer for the first time back in the 1994 season. You? I wasn't becoming much of anything, but look at me now. Yeah. A tremendous success. <laughs> in large part to your wife and children. Free throw number one is up and good for KJ. No question. KJ second free throw, front iron miss. KJ on the year shooting 65% for the line. Rockets up 34-24. Uh, D'Angelo Russell stays on the floor to Austin Rivers. To Nas Reed, low block left. The right-hand dribble drive. He'll turn right, spin left, and score right up in Shangun for the deuce. Like I said, Nas Reed has had a nice little NBA career at the expense of the Houston Rockets. He has six points, 34-26 Houston. E.G. right corner, catch you three, nails it. Very fluid start to that time for Eric Gordon, who is 50% from the floor in his last hit four games. Layup attempt for Nas Reed is missed. Actually, that's Torian Prince. And the rebound picked up by Tari Eason. Here's the Shane Jim. He's going to lay it up and rattle it in and hung on that front cylinder for a while. With the sprint down to the front court, worked off for the Rockets. 39-26, Austin Rivers gives it to Noel. He'll go high off the backboard, miss the shot off the front rim, and Shingun clears. Green, left side to KJ, 360 move to the window, missed the layup. And the rebound picked up by Nas Reed. Reed across the timeline, hands it off behind him out left corner. Torian Prince will launch a three and nail it. Torian Prince with his first basket of the game to make it 39-29. Torian Prince shoots 39% from three. Minute and a half gone by. Here is EG, right-hand dribble drive to the window. He goes up. He's got a basket, and he is fouled. Nicely done for Eric Gordon, who has seen his scoring input grow up a little bit in the last couple of weeks. 12 points against Utah a few nights back. Like I said, he's shooting 50% from three in the last uh, four games. And already off to a seven point, three out of four from the floor start here. 12 point advantage of the Rockets. This will make it 13, and it's the third different time we've seen a 13 point advantage. 42 29 Houston with 10 25 remaining. Here's Torian Prince and nearly walk with it. A floater in the middle of the lane is on the way and good. And Torian Prince has five here in the second quarter. 42 31 Houston. Martin across midcourt, bounce pass to Green, giving up the Shangun top of the arc, hands it off to EG, and a pick and roll, and here goes Shangun for a nice flush on the right baseline. Alper and Shangun very fluid so far in this first half offensively. Very few shot attempts and already 12 points. Down the lane, our layup attempt for Noel is missed. we got a Houston foul coming up, and that's going to be Shangun's second. And that might be the one thing not only tonight, but maybe for a large portion of Alper and Shangun's career that might hold him back is the hated foul trouble. Yeah, he does really leap up uh, in that level just jumping straight up but because noel drove and then immediately jumped off to the right right in front of the basket that forced shengun to lean that way and that's what created the contact so while he did try to create legal guarding space in the air it's not how it transpired noel misses the first of his two 80 percent for noel who was in his fifth year out of washington nas reed goes to the bench and d'angelo russell is back they lead the league in long hair. Would that be safe to say? It's flowing tonight. And I cannot speak from experience on this, unfortunately. 44-32. Wolves are three of four from the line. 12-point lead. Gordon bounce pass right side of the Jalen Green. That there by Austin Rivers. Screen set by Shengun. Green maintains a dribble. Top of the key. Left elbow. Out left side. Tarese and got by his defender. Went for a dunk and missed it. And it trickles out of bounds of the sideline near the rocket bench. You may have heard the oohs and ahs from the crowd. That's because his little shimmy in advance of his dribble sent his defender to his backside. That's why the lane was wide open for Easton, who unfortunately missed what would have been a thunderous dunk. D'Angelo Russell throws it out right hand side to Noel. Back to Russell, underhand bounce pass, and Rudy Gobert is taken away by Easton. Maybe a second time the charm. Here goes some man by the name of KJ Martin with a left hand. Come out! 46 32, largest rocket lead at 14. Gobert between the circles. 
Ball to his midsection. Hands it off. Edward, excuse me, to Russell, and a foul is going to be called out high, and it's going to be on Tar Eason for a reach in and a hack. First foul on Eason, second foul against the Rockets here in the quarter. Eason has led the league most of the year among rookies and steals per contest, so you can't really fault the effort there as he tries to go for another swipe. Colbert takes the inbound. And to his right, for Anthony Edwards, 101 against Shun Goon. Bounce pass into Rudy Gobert, underhand layup on the right side of the lane. is up and in as he kisses. Inside of the angle, straight away. E.G. misses on a three. The dunk is there. A man who will be at the slam dunk competition. K.J. Martin. My goodness. Went over Gobert for the flush. 48-36 with 8.07 left to go. Left side, three ball coming up. That's no good. For the Wolves on the miss, and the Rockets come up with the rebound. Taris and across the timeline as Noel missed a three-pointer. Gordon, three-point line right, swim move for him, and a foul is going to be called against Noel. So a frustrating 15 seconds for Jalen Noel as Jaden McDaniels returns. And so does Kyle Anderson, the former Grizzly and Spur. 7.55 remaining. shangun has got 12. Gordon with eight, and KJ with, what, Three thunderous dunks so far. Right side green crossover for a three ball around the rim and out. The putback wasn't there because Shangun couldn't hold on to the basketball. Quickly comes Austin Rivers left side angle. Crossover for him to the baseline with a right hand off the left side of the floor and it's on the way and in. And it's a 10 point game at 48 to 38. First points of the game for the former Houston Rocket, who comes in averaging five and a half points a game. Shangun, underhand toss to Eason, thought about a three at the right elbow, to the lane he goes, hands it off to Shangun, pump fakes one, throws up a shot attempt, faked a behind the back pass, and got the two points instead on his own. 50 to 38 with 7.15 remaining. Anderson bit hard on that fake. He sure did. Here is a pump fake and a layup attempt is missed by Gobert, gets his own rebound and it taken away nicely by the rookie steals leader in Tari Eason. Euro step for him. Out left side to Martin. Straight away to Shangun. One-on-one against Gobert with the left hand. He'll score. Alperin Shangun having an amazing first half of play. He's got 16. Rockets 52, the Wolves 38. Here is D'Angelo Russell, three-point line left. Gets a double screen from Gobert. Cross-court pass out right side. Austin Rivers going to launch a air ball three. Weak side rebound picked up by Minnesota. Russell pump fakes, goes to the window, and misses shot. So we've got no rim hit, but a Houston foul. No, check that. A loose ball foul will be called against Minnesota. And with that, a timeout. So two errant shots for D'Angelo Russell and friends results in a foul against Minnesota. And we'll take the break at 6.30 in the second quarter with the score. Houston 52, Wolves 38, the foul on Gobert. Timeout brought to you by Corona Extra. Invite you to find your beach. And now these words from your local station. What does it mean to be the energy behind Clutch City? At Reliant, it means powering the home of the Houston Rockets and the homes of Rockets fans across our hometown. Reliant is harnessing the energy on the court to power game day. Together, we make a powerful team. Reliant, proud to be the official energy provider of the Houston Rockets. To learn more, visit Reliant.com or call 1-866-RELIANT. PUCT number 10007. Hi, I'm Tito Beverage, founder and master distiller at Tito's Handmade Vodka. When I got into this business, I used to make flavored vodka infusions for my friends as gifts. When I started to make a go of it, the owner of a local liquor store showed me the dust on some flavored vodka bottles that sat on the shelves. He said, if you can make a straight vodka so smooth that you could drink it just by itself, then you'd really have something. So I did. And now all these years later, we still only make one flavor, vodka flavored vodka. 80 proof Tito's Handmade Vodka, distilled and bottled in Austin, Texas. Tito'sVodka.com. 
What's in a name? For some, the meaning runs deeper than the word we see in front of us. There's a history to it. We are Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Texas. And the biggest part of our name will always be the smallest of. Because it's the of that connects us, which means we are of our communities, of a promise passed down for a healthier tomorrow through it all. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Texas, a division of Healthcare Service Corporation, a mutual legal reserve company. No matter which road you take, the Toyota Tundra is the perfect way to navigate it. You may find yourself in some pretty remote places. That view is amazing. Or in places where pastimes become stories that become legends. I got one. It's a keeper. And each day ends watching a star-filled sky. Whoa. Built to follow your path, the Toyota Tundra. Visit your local Toyota dealer or toyota.com for your ready-for-anything Toyota Tundra. Toyota. Let's go places. See packages and options at toyota.com for feature availability. The Rockets will host Margarita Mondays, presented by Don Julio for all Monday home games this season. Shingun Rockets have taken care of the basketball in the quarter as Garrison Matthews steps on the floor for the first time. Pass in the chase. Sean floored over the left hand. Missed. Tap up by Shingun in the hands of Tate. Out left side. Easton for a three ball and he nails it. Rockets now with five threes as their lead grows to 17. No turnovers in the quarter. Shingun's got eight. Rockets are nine of 15 from the floor in the quarter. Kyle Anderson right elbow behind him to Edwards. A straightaway three is around the rim and out. Good box out by Tate. Gobert couldn't get to it. Here comes Scoot straight away near the top of the key out right side angle. Pass into Shangun, who turns left, spins it right at the baseline. One dribble to a left. Matthews, three ball, that's up and in. And that is a wonderful sign that Garrison Matthews is dialing up from distance. 58-30 in a rocket lead of 20. Noel, bounce pass to McDaniels. Pulls up, 14-footer. Got it. James McDaniels with his first basket. It gives him two. Straight away, it is Shingun. Hands it off to Matthews. Catch and shoot three on the way. Back iron miss. Rebound underneath. And it's going to be out of bounds. Last touch by Minnesota. I wonder if Matthews will uh, say something to Shingun when they get to either on the bench or later this series. He came off a screen and Shingun gave him a bounce pass. A very abnormal pass for him to receive when he's trying to catch and shoot in rhythm. The Probably the most rhythm shooter on this team, and I think it threw him off of it. Francis in with Edwards, Gobert, Anderson, and McDaniels. That's a five the four from Minnesota. Rockets, Shingun, Porter, Tate, Eason, Matthews, and a turnover. There's the first one of the quarter. Here's Kyle Anderson down the heart of the lane. Got hit by two different Rockets. No foul call, but a basket is good for Edwards as he goes three-quarter court for the layup. 58 to 42. Rockets now with four turnovers. Eight so far from Minnesota. Shangun right of the right elbow. Underhand toss from Easton to Shangun. He got pushed by Gobert and a whistle. And when Rudy Gobert pushes you, he's going to send you about three feet. First second foul on Rudy Gobert. And that'll be penalty situation for the final 444 for the Rockets as it is the fifth foul against Minnesota. Played a lot of basketball before uh, the whistles really even started blowing at all. Just three fouls all game long called against the Rockets, and that's still just the seventh against the Wolves, and we're under five minutes to go before halftime. Did you officially just jinx it? I mean, you never know, but the way these teams are defending, it kind of seems like I didn't. First free throw is up and good for Alperin Shangun as Tari Eason takes the seat on the Rocket bench. He's replaced by... Jabari Smith Jr., who played nine minutes in his first go-around in the first quarter, scored six points on three or four from the floor. It's not often you fall behind by 20 points when you're shooting 49% like the Wolves have, but they're allowing the Rockets to hit nearly 60%. Shangun short on the second free throw, 59-42. Edwards left side of the floor for Minnesota. Again, right to left as we see things here in the first half of play. Edwards gets a screen from Gobert. Cross-court pass. Down the lane, McDaniels. Gets cut off nicely by Tate. Back behind him to Edwards. Edwards a straightaway long two on the front rim. It's missed. Rebound picked up by Garrison Matthews. 
Left side to Scoot. Down the left baseline. Here's Jay Sean Tate. Gets cut off. Bounce pass to Alperin. One dribble with his right hand. Hands it back off the corner. No look pass to Alpe. Goes up and he gets contested. And the ball is last touched by, I believe, Torrey and Prince. It'll be Houston basketball here with eight to shoot. They did not touch the rim. Pretty nifty by KPJ. Virtually no room to get that pass through. He kept it low, but did not bounce it through to get it to Shangun. The no look help too. Porter bounce pass to Shingun. Right baseline. Shot clock at five. Going to go close up against Kyle Anderson, and he is going to be fouled by Anderson. That'll be free throws here for Alpi as the Rockets are in a penalty situation. Yeah, uber aggressive. Alper and Shingun here tonight. Uh, 17 points. He's already taken 10 shots. And again, most of these shots he's taken are when Rudy Gobert's not only been in the game, but been the defender. This time he did not have Gobert on his back. And I think as soon as he recognized that, it was Kyle Anderson. He immediately started backing him in. And when he made his spin move baseline, he had beat Anderson and drew the foul. LP on the air, averaging 14 and a half points per game. Frank free throw one is around the rim and can finally down. He had 20 and 14 against Utah a couple nights ago. Spent some of his day yesterday meeting and greeting with the fans, taking orders, signing autographs. One of our local Whataburgers. Did you go? No, but I do like Whataburger. Just like who likes it? Just like you like it. Thank you. Second free throw also missed. Rebound picked up by McDaniels. 60-42 to 42 with four minutes remaining. And the first half of play here from the Toyota Center in downtown Houston. McDaniels, no look pass out right side to Edwards, giving it back to McDaniels. Lost it off his kneecap, has to gather it back between the circles. Down the lane against Scoot, hands it off to Anderson to Gobert. He's going to jam it down with the right hand, and he just went over the top of two different Houston defenders. 60-44 to 44 with 335 remaining until halftime. Scoot left side to his right for Shingun. Hands it to Garrison Matthews. Throws a pass out right side to Smith. Two-hand pass out to Garrison. Garrison down the lane. He's going to go up and under to the window. Missed the shot. Ball tapped up. And it is picked up by Edwards. And here comes Minnesota trailing by 16. Edwards lost control of the basketball. He is going to be fortunate. He's going to get free throws because those that basketball is leaving his hands on the way up. Yeah, his gather was way out in front of his body. He almost like handed it to KPJ, who seemed to pull it away from him with the right hand. And once it dislodged, the foul was called. Anthony Edwards, 23.7 points per game, six rebounds, four and a half assists. He didn't play very much uh, against the Clippers a couple nights ago, suffered a sore hip. He only had five points and five assists. He spent some of his time on the bench during this game with a, a pack wrapped around his side. Edwards free throw one is good, so is number two. And it's now 60 to 46. The 20 point lead has been cut a little bit down to 14. It's Houston 60, Minnesota 46 with 309 remaining in the first half. Porter nearly had it stolen, and it's deflected. In fact, it's going to be a turnover as uh, Anthony Edwards just tried to interrupt his dribbling skills. It was a poke away and last touch by Porter. Anderson across midcourt. Bounce pass. Torian Prince kicks it out to a man on the baseline left. That's Jaden McDaniels. He'll go to a baseline jam with the two hands. And that little run here for Minnesota, which is six straight, has cut the Houston lead down to 12. And with a timeout now to Steven Sabas. 2.54 remaining in first half competition. 60 to 48 Rockets over the Wolves. Timeouts brought to you by Verona Extra. Invite you to find your beach. This is Houston Rockets basketball. Rockets fans, need a game day meal? Get Pizza Hut's Big Dinner Box for only $23.99. Two medium one-topping pizzas, breadsticks, and choose wings, pasta, or a whole other medium pizza. Pizza Hut, the official pizza partner of the Houston Rockets and the Toyota Center. Prices and participation may vary. Memorial Hermann and the Houston Rockets are proud to bring Houston an exclusive, first-of-its-kind, co-branded partnership. This is the first time a health system and a national sports organization have ever come together to advance orthopedics. From broken bones to joint replacement, the specialists at Memorial Hermann Rockets Orthopedics bring you innovative capabilities for a broad range of medical needs. You can get the same level of unparalleled care as elite athletes. Memorial Hermann Rockets Orthopedics. For more information, visit memorialhermann.org forward slash ortho dash rockets. What does optimism look like? It looks like the ball floating through the air, backboard lit up in red, the entire arena holding its breath. You're down two, but you took the three. Some fans can't bear to look, but missing never crossed your mind. You knew it was going in the moment it left your hands. 
Taking the shot looks crazy sometimes, but it isn't. It's just different. And sometimes that's just the difference you need. Frost, the official bank of relentless optimism and proud partner of the Houston Rockets. Todd thought it would be secure to jog in the cheetah savannah. than this cheetah that can run 80 miles per hour. But the good news is Todd has AT&T 5G that is fast, reliable, and secure. And he learned the best thing to do is stop running and toss her the backpack with the beef stew. AT&T 5G, fast, reliable, secure. It's not complicated. 5G requires compatible plan and device. 5G may not be available in your area. See att.com slash 5G for you for details. It's a Tuesday-Thursday throwdown with Pizza Hut and the Rockets. Get a free medium one-topping pizza when you buy a large pizza at menu price. Visit PizzaHut.com, use promo code ROCKETS, and get your free pizza when the Rockets play on Tuesday and Thursday. No one out pizzas the Hut. Limited time offer. Prices and participation may vary. Customize your Houston Rockets experience with the Rockets Flex Plan, the best way to see the top teams at a low price at Toyota Center this season. Games remaining include the next Lakers, Warriors, Celtics, and Pelicans. Packages will start at five games for just $55. You pick your seats, you pick your games. Purchase today at Rockets.com. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Rockets Radio Network. KBME Houston and iHeart Radio Station. This is Sports Talk 790, your home for Houston Rockets basketball. A 10-2 Wolves run since the Rockets led by 20 has them down 12 or under three minutes till halftime. Both teams shooting 10 of 19 from the floor here in the second quarter. Jalen Green is back on the floor. He's got the basketball in his hand on the baseline. Gets by McDaniels. Floats a reverse layup and draws glass only. Rudy Gobert the rebound. In front. Here goes Edwards on the heart of the lane. Blocked! By Alper and Shingun, saved by Anderson. Base to Edwards. Reverse layup for him is on the way in. And this game has gotten within 10 now at 60 to 50. Wolves now shooting 50% from the floor. Shingun straight away. Jabari for a three ball. Front rim miss. McDaniels the rebound. In front to Edwards. Left elbow in the paint. Turns, kicks it out right side. Prince, baseline three on the way. That's up and in. And right now, Minnesota is starting to feel it. That's 11 straight points for them on a three ball coming up from Minnesota's Jaden McDaniels. Two minutes remaining, 60 to 53, Houston. Porter left side, the Shangun top of the arc. Hands it back to Scooter, lost it from behind, but a foul will be called on Torian Prince. And that's going to be free throws here for Kevin Porter Jr. here with 152 remaining. Rockets have gone to the strike eight times in the first half, only made four. Meanwhile, Minnesota is five of six. Porter, four of five from the floor in the first half, 10 points. He has missed a free throw. And he's now one of two. This portion of Rockets basketball being presented to you by Toyota. Let's go places. Rockets are three of seven from three in the quarter as well. Minnesota's only got two three-pointers to their credit. Here's Scoot's second free throw. That goes in. Kevin at 77% on the air from the line. Six to ten of the Rockets. Lead is back to nine at 62-53 with a minute 48 remaining. Jump pass, Kyle Anderson. Left of Gobert out of the arc. Straight away, underhand toss. Edwards going to launch a three. It is off the back heel. Good defense that time by Gordon to alter the shot. Rebound picked up by Jabari. Picked up the dribble, did he? He hands it off to Shingun with the ball over the top of his head. Hands it back off to Porter. And it had it stripped. Jaden McDaniels with the steal. It's a three on two. Layup attempts coming up. We got a continuation. We do. It's an and one for Jaden McDaniels. That will not look good on tape in the Rockets locker room whenever they take a look at that. That's just not very good defense and transition by Jalen Green. He was trying to create the illusion that he was going to sneak back and block that shot somehow, but he turned his back to the offensive player who obviously created contact and made the rather easy layup. He and literally won. ran into Green with his back to him, and that's an automatic we're going to call a defensive foul. Last field goal for the Rockets has been three minutes and 20 seconds ago. It's now 62-56. to 56. That 20-point lead has been shaved all the way down to six. Smith to Green. Down the lane he goes. That's a Rudy Gobert block. Ball is fought for and last touched by Jaden McDaniels. It'll be Houston basketball here with 11 to shoot. Pretty important there that Shingun was still fighting with McDaniels for the ball there. The Rockets really need to finish this half. They got 70 seconds 
to try to either push this back out or at least hold on to what is now a six-point advantage. Gobert now with 48 blocks on the year. Smith on the right side of the floor. Going to pull up in front of Anderson and launch and miss a back heel mid-range. Rebound to Gobert. Here comes Kyle Anderson trying to get by Smith. Hands it off to Edwards. 57 seconds left to go. Anthony Edwards with a Euro step move with the left hand. Missed and he's fouled with a late whistle. Rockets just flat out right now are slumping offensively. There's yeah, no, no part of the floor that's doing them any favor. They're letting point. their poor offense, they haven't hit a shot since the 540 mark of this period, uh, translate to poor defense. Not good communication there. You had Shangun trying to guard two players by himself. And so Edwards just kept it on that pick and roll instead of shuffling it to Gobert. He got contact. Alperin Shangun now has three fouls. He's got 18 points in the game. And Edwards, it feels like to me, Adam, is just attacking the lane at, at any cost. He doesn't care where he is on the floor. He's going to go try to go against Eason and or Shangun and or Smith. And he makes both free throws. And that 20-point lead is now all the way down to four. It's a 16-2 to two Minnesota run with 50 seconds left to go. As Wex said, it's now going on almost five minutes since the Rockets have a field goal. Scoot dribbling right beyond midcourt. He's got Torian Prince in front of him. Green sets his screen, throws it off to Jalen. Right-hand dribble drive. Straightaway three for Jalen is up. Front iron miss. Rebound picked up by Scoot. Left side back to Green on the baseline left. Cut off by McDaniels. Shot clock at nine. Left side angle still trying to get some sort of open look. Low block into Shangun, and Shangun lost the basketball. Turnover, Houston. Possession to Minnesota. One of nine in the first half for Jalen Green. Two points. 0 for 3 from 3. Shot clock is off. Down to 10 seconds. Edwards left side angle. One on one against Jabari. In the paint. Goes up. Ball deflected. Swatted by a rocket. Kyle Anderson, Rudy Gobert wanted foul calls. They're not going to get it. So some defense helping the Rockets cause late. But unfortunately, they will have gone the final 540 of the second quarter without a field goal. It was a make by Garrison Matthews. And since then, a 16-2 run for the Minnesota Timberwolves to take a 20-point Houston advantage and cut it all the way to four. It's the Rockets 62, the Wolves 58. Halftime activities are up next as you listen to Houston Rockets basketball. No matter which road you take, the Toyota Tundra is the perfect way to navigate it. You may find yourself in some pretty remote places. That view is amazing. Or in places where pastimes become stories that become legends. I got one. It's a keeper. And each day ends watching a star-filled sky. Whoa. Built to follow your path, the Toyota Tundra. Visit your local Toyota dealer or toyota.com for your ready-for-anything Toyota Tundra. Toyota. Let's go places. See packages and options at toyota.com for feature availability. When I'm looking to get in on some action, DraftKings, the official daily fantasy partner of the Houston Rockets, is always giving me a shot to win big with their daily fantasy contest. Download the DraftKings app now and use promo code ROCKETS. This week, new customers can get a free shot at a share of millions in total prizes with your first deposit. Only at DraftKings with code ROCKETS. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply. Void where prohibited. See DraftKings.com for details. Whether on land, at sea, in the air, or in space, KBR delivers science, technology, and engineering solutions that are changing the world. For more than a century, governments and companies across the globe have come to us to accomplish their most critical missions and objectives. From 